Some big changes this week for Spokane area drivers. Road construction projects start wrapping up for the year. Motorists in the valley on the South Hill and in the Northwest will see barricades come down and get a chance to drive on some pothole-free pavement. KXY 4s Jeff Humphrey live at Bowdish and Sprague where officials are working through the weekend to finish their projects. And right now, John Spokane Valley is in the process of installing concrete at some of its busier intersections. It's a good idea that concrete is a lot more durable. And you can see the traction grooves here that will give you a better stopping and starting during the winter months. However, it is more difficult to work with concrete during freezing temperatures. And that's why crews are working overtime to wrap up this project. On a day when a lot of husbands found themselves collecting leaves, these men were raking piles of asphalt. Crews from Spokane Rock Products are putting the finishing touches on this Hatch Road resurfacing project. Apparently, when you work construction in the fall, your weekends really belong to someone else. Workload gets full this time of year. You gotta get the work done. Or it gets too cold and rainy and muddy. This 11-block stretch of hatch has been rebuilt from the roadbed up thanks to a voter-approved 10-year street bond. The Spokane Transit Authority helped pay for these improvements along Driscoll Boulevard. The arterial between Alberta and Assembly now includes new bike lanes and designated parking areas. However, like most construction projects, the job detoured traffic away from local businesses. Nobody was buying gas even though our gas prices are really cheaper than the other gas stations. But since nobody was able to drive through it, it was really bad. So, yeah, we suffered for three months. I and mean, hopefully business will pick up now. Now, on Wednesday, the construction crew wants to take their concrete project to the other side of Sprague Avenue and work the southern part of Badish, another concrete intersection going in there. And that is why Sprague Avenue will continue to be narrowed down to just two lanes in each direction through November 5th. Reporting live in Spokane Valley, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.